happy birthday to me. Well, it turned out to be a nice Sunday. Well, I hope everyone's having uh, as good a Sunday as I am. Guess my birthday weekend was good to me. Because, uh, you got a bunch of stuff going on. All ready to go. Make some money this week, hopefully. Picked up this, uh, 1997 Subaru Outback Sport. I didn't even know they made an Outback in 97, but maybe the first year, I don't know. Been sitting since 2014. Was hoping it was going to be the turbo because the cats are worth a lot more on the turbo ones, but no, little all wheel drive wagon, kind of a cool little vehicle to uh, a lot of people. A lot of people like these things, but this one it's pretty crusty and uh, been sitting a long time now. It's full of AC carcasses, random scrap metal, because now we can we can fill them up. Since uh, the guy's got a scale now, and uh, so we can add stuff and make them worth more, get the most money. I thought it was a turbo because it had that scoop and these, but nope, just fake. Don't know if somebody swapped the hood maybe at some point, but uh, seems like the fuel pump's dead in it. I had it cranking over. I got it to fire up kind of on uh, starting fluid, but. That regular old stupid Subaru engine that everyone likes. Had some sort of a wiring issue. So I see the sticker that it had a remote start. As soon as I put power to it, it just wanted to crank over by itself. No key in it or nothing. It would just crank and crank and crank. So pretty stupid. But took a gamble on it, bought it. Nah. Pretty sure it's supposed to have two cats. Only had one. It looked like somebody at one point <clears throat> might have deleted the rear one. And, uh, yeah. So, probably won't make as much as I should on that one, but it's going in. It's going to be squashed. Got some pretty good weight in it. Stripped all my ACs. Had a pretty good pile in the backyard. Got a few tires in there to get rid of, no problem. So, since uh, this guy, his prices on uh, on everything else, on precious metals and stuff, is uh, way more than other yards up here. So, we're gonna bring in everything, and uh, we're just gonna make a nice day out of it. We got. All kinds of aluminum wheels in here. We got the uh, copper aluminum radiators from the ACs. Nice little bucket of number two copper. Nice little bucket of number one. We got a little bit of brass. Look at those babies. Got a radiator out of a big rig, something, bus maybe really heavy. I cut the plastic ends off of it, cleaned it, get the most money. Got uh, three random aluminum wheels there, six lug, don't know much about them. Got them in a scrap pile. Ooh, there's a Lincoln wheel in there. Why is there a Lincoln wheel? 
Got some old six lug Chevy truck wheels. I don't know, I think there's nine or ten aluminum wheels in there all together. Got, got some random aluminum, you know, some more uh, copper aluminum baseboard heaters. You got some uh, household insulated wire, more aluminum over here, grill top. Got a couple of batteries in there. Got that little baby, little kidney cat off the Subaru. Hoping it's good. Keep that inside for safekeeping. All loaded up for the morning. But no, that wasn't good enough. Not good enough for our Sunday. So, look what we got here. Special little treat. We're getting newer and newer. 2011 Lincoln MKZ. It's a fancy Ford Fusion. Yep, Ford Fusion with Lincoln badges. Look at these wheels. Imagine that. Look at the corrosion on those. Size of these. Man. 18. 18 inch. Fancy. all-wheel drive it's got the dual pipes oh yeah we drove it home oh yeah drove it right home oh there's that fourth wheel already being cashed in car was had to be 30 40,000 when it was new I don't know look at this thing look how fancy this thing is look at this thing look at the leather seats white piping junk it's a junk car yeah I'm not kidding you they loved it they love their car Don't even know. We got for miles on this thing. Sounds like a sounds like a giant air compressor. Tire pressure sensor fault. I don't know. Don't know how we can. Uh, don't even know how to get the mileage up there. Yeah, fancy screens and stuff. Watch this. What? Backup cameras? The old farm truck there. Back right into it. 
We got navigation. We got we got a hole in the roof. I mean, this is a fancy car. Four grand to the floor. All she's got. I figured it out. We've got this uh, info button down here. We got. One fifty one on it. That's it. Seventy nine miles to empty. We could drive it free gas. Uh oh, no boot. Angry sneaker. There you go. Your fancy Lincoln engine. V6. I don't even know what it is. We got no stickers out here. We got nothing. Ford Fusion V6 with a Lincoln cover. He said transmission was no good. That's what they said. Burnt. Burnt transmission fluid. Cooked. Runs and drives, but I said it uh, gets hot, starts to slip. Get uh, rotted out above the windshield. Leaks when it rains. Rotted out around the sunroof. They said it needs struts, brakes, tires. Needs a lot. Transmission. Unserviceable transmission in this, they call it. You cannot change the filter. You have to take apart the transmission to get to the filter. But there is a drain plug on the bottom. Currently inspected. Well, calls for a celebration.
on your 2011 Lincoln MKZ fancy ass car when it's time to say I spent too much money on this car only owned it just over a year thought you were getting a good deal you liked it a fancy car when it comes time you say it's not worth it it's not worth it to fix it comes that time in every car but it hurts a little more when it's a fancy car like this I gotta say this is the newest thing I've the newest thing that's come into my hands as far as you know it's got to be squashed flat you tell me you're gonna tell me that thing has all kinds of good parts and you're gonna get a lot of money for those parts you could you could part it out you could sell everything on eBay what do you think take all the parts off trip over them in a box for two years list them on eBay wait for them to sell box them up pay shipping What would you do? Fortunately, it comes down to what? Broken dreams. Broken dreams, junk removal. Here we are. It's another dream. Someone's got to be the bad guy. What are you going to do? Just let the car sit there and cry about it? It's no good. Can't drive it. You're not going to spend thousands of dollars to fix it. Someone's got to clean it up. Get it out of your sight. That's where I come in after all these years. I'm still doing it. running. It is running. Well, it's going to do it for my Sunday, I think. Not gonna be able to sleep tonight. We got Lincolns, we got Subarus, got all sorts of stuff to cash in. Be a nice day. Let me know what you think in the comments. never know. Take my fancy Lincoln MKZ and see on the streets. <laughs>